All right, so this chapter talks about a variety of capacitor shapes. So you don't have to memorize them, but you should know they exist and know where to look up the, the answers. So we already briefly covered the, um, the parallel plate capacitor. So we start with our definition of the capacitance. And you can take the electric field of the capacitor and, re and rearrange stuff and use both the um, electric field and the energy and to get the, um, to get the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. Um, so the parallel plate capacitance is, um, it increases with the area. So if you want to have a larger capacitor, you need a larger area. Um, it is inversely proportional to the separation. So if you can get those two plates closer and closer, you can get more charge on them. Spherical capacitor, um, similar properties. If you get that separation between the two, um, the two distances to be smaller, the two, um, the two spheres to be smaller, then you can get a larger capacitance. Um, and if you make the capacitor larger, you get a larger capacitance. Um, the geometry is a little bit trickier to work out here, but same basic principle. Um, cylindrical uh, capacitor, um, similar principles. The equations are slightly different. Um, and you will work with each of these in, their, you know, in different problems in the homework.